right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here today for my Cancer babies. So my loves, if anyone is interested in uh, crystals to clear the chakras um, for healing, anxiety, insomnia, you could check out Kim K Crystals. The link for her website is below. The, thing, the link for her Facebook page is below. Um, she does live crystal sales uh, once to, uh, twice a week. I'm at those live events. I do choose winners at those live events. Um, and she has also started her own YouTube channel, uh, putting out content on what crystals um, do, their, their spiritual healing, how to use them. So uh, if you'd like to subscribe, the link to that is also below, okay? All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get started. Now, guys, I just want to um, say something really quick. For those of you who post negative comments, it doesn't phase me whatsoever. It truly, truly doesn't, okay? Um, but when you post a negative comment about me being a negative reader or, you know, um, just, just multiple things, again, it doesn't phase me as a reader. What you're doing is um, the people that are actually going through what I'm reading um, it's basically like an F you to them, okay? So if this reading doesn't resonate with you, please find enough kindness in your heart to understand that if it's not your story, then someone else is hurting and needs to hear this. So, I mean, again, please feel free to leave all the negative comments that you want. It does not phase me as a reader. Um, you know, but my job is to reach out to people that are hurting and pain um, and help them and guide them. So, you know, if you're in a relationship that is perfectly healthy and this that means that this is not a negative reading, it just means that, you know, it, this just isn't your story, okay? So please don't hurt people that are already hurting and are coming to this reading because they need help. So that's all that I ask, okay? Moving on. All right. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful cancers. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What messages do we have here today for my cancers, please? Messages for my cancers, please. So we have the death card, scorpionic energy. We have the strength card in the reverse, Leo energy. We have the six of wands in the reverse, four of swords in the reverse. We have the six of pentacles and we have the four of cups. Under the deck, we have the hierophant, Taurus energy. So Cancer, this could be energy in or around you. So this means that this could be something that you're going through. It could be something that someone you know is going through. This could be your side. It could be your person's side. This could be romantic. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. Um, again, if this doesn't resonate with you at all, it does not mean that this is a negative reading. It does not mean that I don't know how to do my job. It just means that this is not, you are not part of this collective. So please have respect, love, and kindness for the people that are going through whatever is happening in this reading. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry that I keep emphasizing that. It's just sometimes I read the comments and like it doesn't bother me as a reader, but my heart cries for the people, the rest of the people in the comments that are going through so much pain. And then there's people who are like, screw you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going through this. So this reading's negative. That's a horrible thing to do to another human being. Anyways, moving on. I'm sorry. It just bothered me to no end yesterday. Um, okay, so cancer. <sighs> What we have here, Cancer, is a situation where someone is giving too much in a situation. Okay, the Six of Pentacles is a very giving and generous person. And with the Four of Cups here, I feel that, you know, someone here keeps offering and offering 
and offering and whatever they're offering is not being acknowledged okay i just want to show you these cards cancer so you see someone here was giving 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 with the six of pentacles and you see how these cups are being offered now cups and tarot are emotions okay so even if someone here, I mean, whatever this person is giving, it's like a blessing from God. Like this person should be, whoever's receiving here should be so appreciative of what they're receiving. But you see, they're not even looking at it. This person's like, like just barely their, their face is up like towards it, but they're looking straight ahead. They're not even looking at it. Okay. Now with the six of wands in the reverse and the four of swords in the reverse, there's a sense here, cancer of someone here, their pride, their ego, their self-esteem, their self-confidence is being destroyed because they're being, it's un, they're not able to heal because they give, they offer, and it's like nothing that this person does is even being acknowledged, okay? With the death card and the strength card in the reverse, this is what needs to change on this person's side. Strength card in the reverse is an indication of somebody that um, just can't help themselves. It's someone who just can't say no, okay? This, the, you, this person just is unable to say I'm sorry, no, I can't help you today. With the Hierophant under the deck and the Ten of Cups here, somebody here may be dealing with family members. It may be your children. It may be your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. There's a sense here that someone has a lot of give, a lot of love to give, a very big heart. And with the Hierophant here, I feel like someone here constantly is in an energy of trying to do the right thing, okay? So it's hard for this person to say no. It's hard for this person to not give. But at the same time, you're dealing with someone here that is suffering a lot because their self-esteem is being destroyed because they're giving and not receiving any love, any attention, anything in return. So this person is basically feeling like a doormat cancer. Okay, this person is basically feeling like a doormat and they're not even able to heal because from one situation to the next, there's not even enough time. It's like, boom, one after the other after the other, right? So let's see what we have here. Clarity. And it's almost like if this person makes a promise, they have to keep it. If they make a promise, no matter what, come hell or high water, this person will keep their promise. So Cancer, that could be you, that could be your person. Four of Cups for Cancer, please. Six of Pentacles for Cancer, please. Yeah, see? Okay, so with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, Cancer, the person on this side is alone. The person on this side is alone, possibly financially abundant, but very independent regardless. And with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, what we have here is someone that is expected to give way too much cancer the person on this side is giving way too much and with the four of swords this person needs rest they need healing that they're not getting four of swords in the reverse and the six of swords i feel here cancer that there's a sense of i can't do this anymore this is not working for me so I can't do this anymore so cancer someone here is either leaving a situation traveling moving going away um, whether they're leaving long term or they're just going away for a weekend or someone is just going to get in their car and go drive for six hours you know what I'm saying someone here just needs to get away um, because they can't rest six of wands in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel, Cancer, that, yeah, no, with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like someone here is moving away from a situation. I feel like someone here is wanting to move towards something new because where they're at right now their pride, their ego, their self-esteem, like someone here feels like they're not winning at life because like the people around them or the, the, the love um, relationship that they're in is destroying their self-worth almost. Tell me about the death card, please, for cancer. The devil. 
Capricorn energy. So Cancer, this is what needs to change. The person on this side is attached to negative and toxic behavior. Over giving to the point that you don't respect yourself is toxic, Cancer. And a lot of Cancerians have this trait where we're unable to say no and we just give and put others before ourselves. But the problem is nine of wands, 10 of wands, you're, you know, a lot of Cancerians tend to have what's called the broken bird syndrome, where we run into people that, you know, need help and then we help them but we're the only ones putting in the work and receiving nothing in return. And then what happens is we get completely drained and the connection ends. And that's why it's important, Cancer, that the person on this side learns and understands that in relationships there needs to be an equal give and take. Tell me about the strength card in the reverse and the fool, Aries energy. I feel like What's happening here, Cancer, is we have one person that is very independent, very on their game, very responsible, and we have people, you know, it could be your love interest, a family member, friends, that are very irresponsible. And this nine of pentacles energy cannot say no to the fool. So the pre-empress is having trouble saying no to this fool energy, okay? Um... Like someone here is constantly messing up, making mistakes, being irresponsible, and this pre-empress is being called to fix the situations over and over and over again, um, you know, because they can't say no. So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful cancers. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful cancers. Ooh, wow. Okay, let's see here. So we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, we've got the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Justice card, Libra Energy. Under the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So guys, I see Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords. Someone here might be in prison because I'm seeing a lot of bars, okay? Um, but it doesn't, you know, obviously that's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, Cancer, the person on this side, the ending that happened between you and this person. So... I feel like this is someone you've already disconnected with. It's either, again, a friend, a family member, um, you know, a, an ex in your life. This is someone that things ended with because of their selfishness. Nine of Cups talks can talk about a very smug behavior. Like, all that matters is that I'm happy. I have no idea what you have going on with your life, but, you know, I wake up in the morning and my only concern is what's going to make me happy today. And that's what ended this relationship, okay? With the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, I feel like, Cancer, this person is coming back now offering stability. They want to move in with you. They want to get married to you. They want to have forever with you. But with the Five of Pentacles and the Justice card, I feel like this person is facing their karma, Cancer, because because they've lost it. They've lost you. They've, you know what I'm saying? Um, the five of pentacles also talks about fear of losing. Okay. So this person is coming in trying to talk to you and say, listen, you know, I really want something serious with you. I've changed or whatever the case may be. Um, I feel that cancer, you know, it's just, they fear now that they're going to pay for their mistakes. Like, you know what I'm saying? That their mistakes have cost them too much. With the Eight of Swords, this person can't get out of their head. They can't stop thinking about you. Okay? They cannot stop thinking about you. Oh, let me just go ahead and clarify. I'm sorry for it to clarify this side. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Cancer. Nine of Cups for Cancer. We've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. The Four of Swords. So Cancer, whatever promises were made in this relationship, it benefited only this person right here. Due to this person's look, we've got the Four of Swords in the upright here. So this person's laying down, doing their thing, resting. And then we've got the Four of Swords in the reverse here. 
So one person is doing all the work. This person never gets to sit down. This person's always on the ball, giving, doing things. And this person is selfishly just sitting on the couch taking, for instance, okay? Tell me about the Four of Wands and tell me about the Ace of Wands for Cancer. So we've got the Five of Wands on top of the Four of Wands and we've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. So Cancer, here's the thing. I feel that this person is coming back around, wanting commitment with you, okay? We've got the Empress here again. So this person may want to marry you. They may want to have children with you. Um, they may want to come in and really offer you something tangible but Cancer, there may be competition here with the Five of Wands. This person may have competition now. And now they're scared that they're going to actually have to pay for their mistakes in the past. And now look, Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. This is regret and sorrow. This person is looking at the past, thinking about what they did to you and how they treated you. And with the Nine of Swords, Cancer, this person is not in a good place. They're feeling it okay they're feeling it because now they are being pushed away they are being rejected like no matter what this person says they can't get past your barriers and now fear is really creeping in that they've lost you five of pentacles for cancer Ooh. Queen of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Cancer, this person is going to start to feel vengeful, bitter, spiteful, pushed to the side. Like this person is scared that they're going to be rejected. With the Justice card and Temperance, I feel like this person is trying to be patient to gain your forgiveness. Um, but at the same time, you know, they know that they deserve this. They know they deserve to lose you, but they don't want to face that karma. Okay, they don't want to face that karma cancer. So it's interesting because I just looked at this. You know, normally my decks don't have any reversals. And I just noticed that the Empress is in the reverse. Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Look at that. King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So Cancer, I feel like you have someone coming in offering. You know, that King of Pentacles is somebody solid, stable, committed. So someone is coming back wanting to apologize with the Page of Pentacles, wanting to reconcile with the Three of Cups. Um, they really want to offer something serious this time. But with the, the Empress in the reverse, Cancer, I feel like you just feel like you're drained. You have nothing left to give to this person, to this situation. Um, um, you're just done. Like, you're exhausted. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Tell me about the challenge here for Cancer. Tell me about the challenge for Cancer. The challenge for Cancer. Oh, okay, we got four that popped out. So we've got the Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Five of Cups. And we have the Ace of Swords with the Fool under the deck. There's that Fool again. So Cancer, here's the deal. Someone here wants a second chance. They want a second chance. And with the Two of Pentacles, this person's unsure if they're going to get that second chance. Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Cancer, this person is really waking up to how they treated you. Okay? They acted like a fool. They acted irresponsible. Yeah, see, Seven of Swords. The, the Knight of Wands, they took advantage of your love. They took advantage of your generosity. They took advantage of your kindness. This person was only worried about their wants, their needs, whatever was best for them. They could care less on how hard you worked, what you were doing, how much pain you were in. They just didn't care. And they see that now, Cancer. They realize their actions now. Tell me about the outcome here for Cancer the outcome for cancer okay so we've got the magician virgo gemini energy we've got the knight of swords more air energy and we've got the page of swords more air energy under the deck we've got the four of pentacles so cancer this person doesn't want to let you go they don't want to let you go this person is rushing in 
Um, I feel like you're going to be receiving messages from this person, Cancer. And again, this is could be romantic, friend, family member. You're going to be receiving messages from this person with some very painful truths. Like I feel like this person is going to come forward and 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 just really open up to the enlightenment that they're having. Like you know, Cancer. I realized now how selfish I was. I realized how much time and energy and love you gave me. And you know what I'm saying? Like they're really going to express to you via message how much they realize how much they screwed up. Do you see what I'm saying? And with the magician here, I feel like this person is rushing in cancer to make this work, to manifest this connection. They want to rush in and show you that they have passion for you in this connection and that they can communicate, that they have emotion and love for you, that they have plans for the future, that they want to be able to set financial goals with you, um, or that they'll get a job and provide financially. Okay. Cause the magician, as you can see there has all four suits you see so they're going to come in with that wand energy that cup energy that sword energy that pentacle energy so they want to show you that they have what it takes to have a future with you um you know the question is is it too little too late i don't know cancer so let's take it into the extended um Let's take it into the extended. Let's see if this person truly has changed. Let's see what the long-term outcome will be with this person. Is this going to be just another karmic loop that's going to go back around and around again? Um, let's see. Um, let's see what's coming towards you if you walk away from this person. Because Cancer, I do see that there's competition here. So someone here might be dating other people. So let's see what's coming towards you if you don't reconcile with this person and we'll pull some Oracle, okay? Link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you soon. Bye my loves.